a great day. For some women who have had breast cancer, a treatment option may include removing breast tissue. Many women also elect to go a step further with breast reconstructive surgery. Here to explain your options is plastic and reconstructive surgeon Dr. Krithi Mohan, along with general surgeon Dr. Adrian Floyd with Memorial Hermann Greater Heights. Good morning, ladies. All right. So. As a general surgeon and a breast reconstructive surgeon, oftentimes when a woman is diagnosed with breast cancer, the first thing she's thinking is, I gotta save my life, right? Yes, um, and after you get through that initial moment, you, you suggest, and that's what, what's great about you all there, mm -hmm. is that you have a team approach of yes. let's take a look at the big picture all the way through. Yes, for sure. And Dr. Floyd can speak to her, the diagnosis. Well, yeah. starting at the beginning with women getting their screening mammograms, we want to make sure that women in the theme of everything we've said are getting their regular checkups and having a risk assessment with their regular doctor to determine the timing of screening mammography. Yeah. And there are several guidelines out there, but the consensus is still that women of average risk, which means you don't have a history of any radiation to your chest, no family history or other things that make you high risk, they should be offered screening mammography starting at age 40. Yeah, but with that said, if you feel something's off of or course. different or wrong yeah come Definitely. in right uh, I can't tell you how many women I know who have detected it because they really did find that lump yes yes and that lump is in it's it's like she's like she knew she yes. said she knew and a, and a screening mammogram is actually only performed once a year right mm -hmm. and so that's why self screening exams and self breast exams are so important and they're actually taught to women because women can do can do a self breast exam every month at home yeah and so they can pick up that cancer in between all that screening period of time yeah. so things like discharge come in uh, yes. you, you feel something super hard and what my friend said was she goes it was it was just undeniable she said yes. when they say that hard lump she goes it was a really hard lump she she's like it's not a sister or anything uh, okay so when it comes to treatment there it's not one size fits all uh, some things can include a lumpectomy Yes, for breast cancer treatment, it is a team approach. There's usually the breast surgeon, the radiation oncologist, the medical oncologist, and the plastic surgeon. And when a patient gets a diagnosis, we have them see everyone on the team. In terms of the surgery, there are two options. There could be a lumpectomy, where we remove the cancer with some normal tissue around it, or a mastectomy, where the entire breast is removed. Yeah, how do you know which is best? How does a woman make that decision? It really depends on several different factors. It depends on the stage of the cancer, which includes the size of the tumor, the location of the tumor, where on the breast it is, and it's really just having a discussion with the patient also about the risks and benefits of both procedures. Yeah, we all heard about, you know, Angelia Jolie when she mm -hmm. said, just take it all right exactly. now. I don't want to worry about it. It runs in my family. Just take it all and right now. And she had a genetic predisposition, yes. predisposition to right. that. The BRCA? Like BRCA, uh -huh. exactly. BRCA, yeah. and there are several other genes that also also make you predisposed to it and that's why Deborah you were saying you know when women are diagnosed with breast cancer their first concern is let me just go take care of this cancer mm -hmm. but that's why because we work in a team approach with mm -hmm plastic surgeons and the oncologists, it's actually important to go and see a plastic or reconstructive surgeon early in that process. Yes. Even if you think you may not have your reconstruction done immediately, right. it's so important to do that immediately and at the time of diagnosis because what you may discuss with the plastic surgeon and the breast surgeon may completely change whether you get a lumpectomy yes. or a mastectomy. And that's really important to have done before because if it's done after, well, then you, your treatment's already been done. Yeah, and yeah. now you only have a few options. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. There are some women who just, you know, they have the breast removed, the tissue removed, and they're like, I'm just going to go about my business. Exactly. Other exactly. women just want to get that symmetry back. Exactly, exactly. And and that symmetry is actually, you know, really important. So, you know, in 1998, it's really important for all women to know this. There was this act passed, and it was the Women's Health and Breast Cancer Act. And what it said is that all women have the right to breast cancer reconstruction. Yeah, make so it like it was. everybody, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So everybody. And that means for the side that they had their cancer on, and also the other side that wasn't affected by cancer for symmetry, like you said. Right, right. All right. So. Uh, you can do breast implants if you want. Yes. So there are two major types um, of reconstruction, and this also is really important to discuss with your breast surgeon mm -hmm. and with the patient, and that's how you really determine it. So the one type is really through breast implants, and the second time is actually using your own tissue. So most commonly your abdominal tissue. So a lot of women talk about this like, oh, oh a tummy. Oh, wait, 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 yeah, like it's like, because oh, exactly. I got some extra, exactly. right there. <laughs> right. And because most women that are diagnosed with breast cancer have already had their children, and so they've gone through childbearing, so they have that excess tissue in their abdomen. And so that can really be utilized to actually reconstruct the breast. Yeah, talk about what it is like to be able to have a team and a plan going in. Because I would imagine just as a, as a doctor alone that you're like trying to 
connect somebody to somebody else. You're calling mm -hmm. their yes. office, trying to see if they're on board, and to have so and for the patient themselves to go to so many different offices, different people who aren't connected, aren't talking That's to each right. other. I yes. would think would be added stress. It's great. We have a nurse navigator who coordinates the appointments for the patients to make sure that they get scheduled to see everyone on the team, and we all communicate very well with each other mm -hmm. to ensure that prior to the surgery, as Kriti said, that we're on the same page in terms of obviously our first goal is getting the cancer out and then the patient having their reconstruction and then what they're gonna need after the surgery, whether it's radiation or potentially chemotherapy. It's great for the patient. It's great for us to make sure that we have all of our bases covered and I really think it, it it and Dr. Boyd and I can call each other, right? Yeah. So I can have a patient in my office mm -hmm. and I can call her. Um, I'm, you know, at Memorial Plastic Surgery and I'm on a team with plastic surgeons. And so we work on that reconstruction together, a two surgeon yeah. approach. We did a case together last we week. We did. So great to know Where, that y'all have a team and great yes. for the patient to know yeah. there's a team working for them as well. Thank you very much. Thank you so for much. For more information on breast cancer treatment and your options at Memorial Hermann Greater Heights, call 713-222-CARE. 713-222-CARE. That works out to be 713 22 or visit memorialherman.org slash heights.